Hello, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we're going to be watching pole setting off an existing pole in Mission, Kansas, a task performed by Kansas City Power and Light Company. What we're going to see is how you would uh, place a new pole in service if you cannot get a pole setting machine in for whatever reason, no good access to the site or storms have taken out all your machines, uh, access to the machine. So the first thing you've got to do is send alignment up onto the existing pole in order to connect a pole gin, which is a device that's used to bring the a, a new pole up next to the existing pole. Now also notice how close these property lines are. It's not always all that easy to get in there. But uh, just off to the left here, you're going, going to see the pole gin, and you're gonna see the lineman. This is being filmed with a GoPro camera on his hard hat. So you're gonna see him hook into the pole gin a three rope assembly that is going to be used to lift a new pole into existence. Uh, now we see back on the ground, the crew bringing in uh, the new pole that will be set. You see the existing pole listing a little bit to your right on the screen. Notice the traffic cone and plywood to cover the new hole that they've dug for the pole. Now what we're seeing is a lineman installing a capstan which is going to be used uh, with the pole gin at the top of the pole to lift the new pole right next to it. So they've got to bring in electrical power in order to run the capstan. Uh, they're just affixing it to the existing pole. And then you're going to see the new pole being raised up next to the existing pole. You can probably hear the capstan in the background. And uh, you'll see here momentarily the line workers can actually start to move the butt end of the pole with all of its weight, of course, being supported by the uh, pole gin and the rope assembly. Uh, they're going to spin this around and place it. They've dug a six foot uh, pole for the new pole, and it's a 30 foot pole. So they're going to drop that in. As they're raising, of course, they have to pay attention to all the overhead uh, existing lines and trees, vegetation. But they're going to set this pole in right next to the existing pole. And then next, you're going to see a line worker come in with what's called a cant hook. And the cant hook is used to spin the pole. Notice the, the small white dot just above his head on the pole. That's called the brand. And the brand has to be rotated to the down guy side of the pole. There's a gain, basically a flat spot at the top of the pole that has a hole drilled in it that is also lined up with the brand so that both are facing the down guy. And the reason the gain and brand are placed in this location, it maximizes the strength of the pole and creates a longer life span for the pole. Also notice there's a long uh, orange pole, uh, which is a spike or a pike. And you're going to see uh, somebody there on the other side of the pole picking up one of those spikes to spear the pole with it. And he's going to use that to, to stabilize the pole while they make sure it's perfectly perpendicular and uh, true. Now you're going to see the guy in the foreground here do the same thing. He's going to spike that new pole and then uh, tamp the spike into the ground so that uh, so that they can uh, line up the rest of the the new pole make sure it's perfectly perpendicular and that the the brand and uh, gain are correct next thing they do is come in with fill dirt and tamp down dirt around the pole get it all uh, put in place finalize the job of course they'll put that fence back together and that in essence, is how you set a new pole off an existing pole when you don't have access to a pole setting machine. So we hope you've enjoyed this TND How video on pole setting off an existing pole. And we want to, in particular, acknowledge the great cooperation from our crew at Kansas City Power and Light, uh, just exhibiting some of the fantastic work they do on a daily basis. Thank you.